everybody, Obey the Papaya, back at you again with another YouTube video. So this is a YouTube video to kind of help uh, counter against chimeras. Now, I see a lot of people talk about chimera, Grux being one of them. Chimera is the next one. Um, and it's, you know, what can you do against chimera? He's so strong. He's so, you know, and it's true. Chimera is ridiculously strong. He's very strong in solo queue. He's very strong in comp play. He's strong in pubs. I mean, he's just, he is strong in general. So it's hard to really get down and get some solid counters on him. He's very meta. He's very strong. But there's some ways to kind of prevent him uh, from snowballing into the absolute monster that he is. All right. So he is very strong. Countering him is very difficult. You know, it's the reason why he's meta. Um, we're going to go through this and try to see if we can try to help with that. Uh, try to bias the mind a bit to help you stop chimeras from getting fed right so first thing we want to take a look at like the builds what are chimeras building right so we see here i focus this on gold elo because in higher elo it's a little bit different and i don't think a majority of people that watch these videos are in there so i picked gold i think gold is a pretty solid uh foundation a lot of players play in that so let's take a look at that so this I got from Ometa City. I love this. Take a look at my videos discussing Ometa City. Should be my tips and tricks playlist and all that. It's a phenomenal website and it's going to give you these type of builds, you know, to show you the win rate. You can set it up for higher ELO. That way you could play and get some really solid builds. But let's take a look at Chimera builds. So Chimera builds right now, we're seeing a lot of crests being procced into Phoenix. Uh, so he's going to get some regen, right? Um, he's going to come back to life and all that good stuff. So he's going to have basically two lives. Right, and then next to that we got Ice Scorn, and then you got Sarah's Mantle. So those are the three big ones. So Sarah Saffir's Mantle is when he wants to get tanky. Ice Scorn, Dueling, Phoenix, Dueling. Okay, some ways to kind of counter this. It's picked majority of the time. Um, is Tainted Anti Heal. When he comes back, he's gonna have less mana. Uh, sorry, less HP. Right. So that's one of the strongest things you can do to counter that a little bit. Right. Uh, slot one. I see a lot of people actually in lower elo. This just surprised me. They build. Um, I literally just had this warlord, uh, this overlord. Uh, this was a little interesting to see because it does help it clear, but it's not a very strong fundamental item. Like I mean, it is strong overall, but this is if you're gonna go like saffers into you know uh, warlord, and then you get the HP stacks. You're gonna do a little bit more damage, but just a little bit interesting. The current, you know, a lot of people are going Basilisk and higher level play. A lot of low elo will actually tend to go Sky Splitter too. So if they go Overlord, they're just going to clear relatively fast. Either Basilisk or Overlord, they're going to clear very fast. So he does have pretty good clear and he has very high HP and high regen. So you got to be wary of his early level ganks, you know. So taking a look at my, my video of uh which i do plan to remake of jungle timers is very important because it gives you an idea of where the jungler is going to be early game because that's an issue with chimera his early game is what gets him to late game at least we're going to try to get you in the video to prevent his early game being as strong so let's keep going uh through here his, if he builds sky splitter if you're losing to chimera if you're winning yeah if you are losing to a chimera sky splitter it's just that unfortunately you had bad teammates because he's so squishy if he builds sky splitter Splitter in general. He becomes literally a glass cannon. Does a lot of damage, but is a glass cannon. Um all right. And I mean, all these items are also pretty, pretty terrible. I mean, as a first item slot. Uh second slot item tends to be uh basilisk. Now, this item is really strong. And why is it because it provides shred? It's a very strong item. It, it helps kind of counter tanks, it makes him do a lot of damage to tanks as well, right? It does damage to everyone. Everyone has armor, so it's gonna shred armor uh you know so it's a very strong makes him a little tanky gives him good damage abilities this can also be built first you know and it's gonna make it's gonna make him uh dangerous actually bone seeker i uh, sorry uh man bone seeker i think this is what this one's called i can't think why am i can't i think of these i think it's bone seeker this item is uh kind of a troll i know it's a high win rate but this just makes him tankier and makes him take time to kind of scale a little bit it's kind of more so to kill tanks you know than it is to really kill uh tanks or groups instead so it's kind of a little troll um but you know usually you go basilisk and then you could take out um tainted guard if you want to get tanky you know you have to be wary of that because it's going to apply bleed whenever you hit him and whatnot right so that's something to kind of take into consideration but uh you know so far what we see right now is he has a lot of hp right not much armor a lot of hp sky splitter is going to be a very strong item demolisher very strong item to counter these um 
The third item, this is when he's probably going to go um, this new axe item. Man, I can't think of this axe. Greater axe, something axe. I have it right here. It should literally be Berserker's axe. There we go. Um, Berserker axe is a strong item going into late. Gives you the movement speed. It gives you a lot of damage on the right click. Uh, sorry, on the alternate ability. That's his leap. Um, it's going to make him really oppressive. You know, once again, Bone Saw is kind of troll even with this win rate. So in reality, we'll discuss like what has to go on at this level of play to kind of help out. And then from that point on, it's kind of situational. What kind of tank items does he want to go? So that's basically it. that's going to happen at the end. And Stonewall, really good for mitigation. Um, Citadel can, can be built sometimes for some more penetration. Draconum for some heals and sustain. But we want to prevent getting even to that point. So what Kai has, he has heals. Skills over time from hitting and uh, hitting and off secondary ability, which is his, uh, that's his heal where he gets a cleanse. Uh, he has a lot of damage. And um, we'll discuss the counters on these. Uh, he has an engage without an escape. He has a cleanse. He has an AOE ult that's a stun. He has a bruiser style of build. Some counters to these things, right? Tainted and CC. Since the damage is done over time, it scales with basic attack. So if you CC him, he's going to lose the passive. He's going to lose the stacks. He's not going to be able to do anything. He's not going to be able to literally heal off of it, right? So, and then tainted, it literally stops the healing process, right? By, by a huge amount and tainted cannot be stacked but you do want to apply it and find good uses of good uh, you know amounts of tainted who's what who on your team is going to have a good job at applying tainted um so damage comes from basics right some solid items to kind of prevent that razorback tainted guard and fire blossom right you're sitting in there all those items are going to help you a lot with preventing that i had these items but these are kind of for for later um so displacement abilities, hard CC. So anything that's going to shift him away, anything that's going to push him away, uh, you know, hard CC in general. So like, you know, steel is going to be an absolute monster against him, right? Uh, and then because he doesn't really have an escape, right? Corner baits, so any type of over the corner baits, uh, you know, he's going to have to go for an objective control or something like that, right? Bait him into a corner. He's not going to be able to do anything. You burst him. The Akai does really well when he can control the playing field. The second you prevent him from controlling the playing field, is gonna put you, you know, far beyond any, far beyond him. Um, so some counter items that we have here, right? We listed all the tainted, you know, tainted bastion's a little slim because of course, right? It gives you mitigation. It is a good item, but you need a spell to hit you. Tainted totem's pretty nice since it's AOE ability and it's good for supports to build. Tainted Blade is a little bit of an interesting item. Some people build it, some people don't. Like it's, it's just a little bit weird, so you don't see it too often. Tainted Guard, solid item. Tainted Rounds, solid item. Tainted Scepter, solid item, right? So th those are the three Tainted that you really, truly want to see. Um, especially when you see a Kai is fed and no one has Tainted, you need to get Tainted on your team. Fire Blossom being really strong. Razorback uh, being really strong. Um, Mega Cossum, because he is going to have a ton of HP, you know, you want to do that... Uh, you basically want that star killer passive to be, you know, for magic power to really start hitting some damage on him. So Mega Cosm is very important to build for a lot of magic power users. Um, Demolisher and Sky Splitter. He's going to be a health tank. So 2.5% of the target's current HP is damage on hit. Solid. Plus max HP. Solid. He's not going to have, he's going to have armor, just not as much as a true tank, right? And then Demolisher scales off the hail of the max HP flawless item it's a very strong item it's the meta right now and i put time flux band here because time flux band is so nice at displacing people and countess being one of my favorite people to actually go against the chimera time flux band gives me more abilities more skills more damage to put onto him right um and the ultimate cc and all that and it gives me displacement on top of my q so i'm gonna confuse the heck out of that chimera so I, I really do actually like building time flux band a lot whenever i'm against chimeras this includes things like gideon as well you know i can use my time flux use an e bait him away and use my e somewhere else on the next back it's a very strong item early game strats so early game strats is going to be stacked because that is where chimera is going to snowball so hard chimera has like it's a it's an up curve and then it flattens out it's good. It's still really solid. He doesn't fall down. He scales effectively and stops, right? So early game, you need to prevent the scaling early game. 
So you need wards. Never push past the halfway point. Like in general, it's it's risky with Kai. Don't do it because he has the insane chase potential. He he can follow your blink with a blink. He can follow your blink with just his alternate ability. You know? So if you exhaust your blink, you're gonna be even more passive than you have to. You can really only move up until you once you see him in a different lane, in a different area. He is very scary. And it's something that makes him so oppressive. And there's, it's hard to overall counter him, right? So losing farm is all right. Just don't give out kills. Uh, wait out pushing until you have an idea of his positioning or deep boards. Uh, Kai is a very good solo objective, right? Fang and Prime. So those should be warded and watched. He literally does not lose HP. Like very little when he solos Fang. And halfway Prime, like after 10 minutes. He is an absolute beast. And it's kind of overpowered. It really is. So you need to have some awareness onto that, right? If he knows where a jungler is and he's going to go and sneak Prime or Fang Tooth, he can very easily do it. So it's something to be aware of, right? Um, he has decent clear, above decent, but his invade can get easily caught out since he's having no escape. So if he does invade you, he's not really going to have an escape. He can really only engage onto you, right? He's going to have to cost his blink. So him invading is kind of slim. You can see it. You can still see a Kai invade, but it's not really going to happen. If you have a Fang Mao or whatnot, if you are a Fang Mao, you can easily basically invade him and then escape, right? The second you see him, you teleport away. He can't really chase you. You know, he all he has is the, the Fire Flower. So that's kind of it. Early game, you do have to kind of play like how I'd say against the Kalari. You have to lose a little bit of farm. You have to play a really passive. You have to freeze the lane at tower, right? Because he is way too strong at getting these ganks. He is a monster. So if you can just prevent him from getting fed early, he's not really going to scale that hard to where he's going to be a true problem, right? So that's mainly it. And then mid to late game stat. It's not a strat. It's not as, there's not much info because like I said, he's kind of a basic kit. Everyone, he's very predictable in a way, right? Beta objectives, destroy blast flowers, and then corner him when he comes for a jungle objective. Just don't give him, make him, make him even more predictable than he already is. Don't let the blast flowers stay. You know, when you want to take these objectives, you know he's going to come through corners. Just kill him. He's going to be the first one most likely coming in and take him out. Uh, prevent him from stacking his heal passive. So engaging onto him before he can engage is key. So yeah, start the engage before he really does, right? He is going to basically target the carry. He is literally most likely going to target the squishy. Or he's going to hit the tank right in front of him and get his heals really sped up, you know, uh, sped up really quick. Just target him, go front to back. You know, a lot of junglers like Rampage and whatnot are very oppressive because they can technically get a nice easy, you know, jump without a lock on. If you're if a chimera is having trouble locking onto the ADC, you know, I mean, it makes it a lot easier to kind of peel off the ADC when a Kai doesn't have a free jump, right? Especially in corners, especially in jungles. Just prioritize on peeling your carry. Your carry should absolutely melt the chimera. Granted, his RMB is pretty low cooldown. It's kind of suck. Like it sucks that it is. It's once again why he's a meta character and why it's so strong to counter him, right? But it's it kind of is what it is, but this is to help out and kind of provide a little bit of guidance for those that are a little bit questionable on what, th what things they can do. Um, and like, there isn't that many characters I would say I recommend because I think that if you just prevent his early game, he is a pretty simple character to kind of bait out, right? So you could play any character, just need to understand that your early game, his chase potential and his ganks are so strong early that as long as you have an idea of where he's going to be and how to position yourself, that's the most important thing. Characters, you do need CC. If you don't have any CC in this game, I've been saying it's CC meta for a long time. CC slash tank meta. Far more on the CC side of things, you know, because tanks are the ones that have the CC. So that's it. Like, you know, prioritize those. Assassins are very, very strong at killing him too. So like Countess, absolute burst potential. He tends to not really build magic uh, resist. So it's pretty easy to throw a burst onto him. And if you went time flux, like I said, you have another burst to basically throw onto him and it will absolutely melt him. It'll displace him. And then that's kind of it. You just don't want to get, I want him to get the stacks and Countess will do a good job preventing that. Fang Mao has a pretty good escape. Just got to be, you know, careful with your RMB and his RMB, you know, that, that's something that you have to, you have to be careful of. Um, and then, you know, steals a really strong person against him. Um, 
Greystone do having his ultimate can be very strong against him and him also applying the shred you know applying shred onto him uh building basilisk is actually a really solid item as well you know uh because if you shred him boom now he just has kind of hp your carry's gonna do all the damage but that's it just prevent his early game you know i mean that that's kind of it prevent his early game chance his lead then when you do objectives he's very uh predictable in what he's gonna do and you mess him up in objectives and that's kind of it so uh let me know what you guys think of this video you know it's something that i want to try to do just to kind of help the community a bit that is struggling with this type of stuff and give them a, a, a way to think so it's like to me, it sounds very basic, but I, I know a lot of people are going to go, you know, they'll be like, oh, wow, I didn't think of this or do this or do that. And that's kind of what the video is going towards, you know, helping people understand that, you know, get into the game. Because I'm with 2000 hours, I'm very knowledgeable. Uh, 2000 hours, 2000 games. Um, but yeah, but on that note, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments if uh, this video helped or if you think that I could have done better in something or if you have tips yourself on countering Kai um but yeah so on that note take it easy have a good one good luck in your games i'll catch y'all later don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy